All right, here's an application of the dot product. We want to find the angle between two component vectors. Well, remember a component vector has a direction and magnitude. You've got the x part and the y part, but it might be uh, cumbersome, it would be cumbersome, to go ahead and calculate that um, kind of the long way, so to speak. So let's just draw an example of what this would look like. So if I've got um, a vector v and a vector w, uh, theta is the angle between them. And uh, look, for this example, we're going to say vector v, its components are negative 1 and 4, and vector w, its components are going to be 1 and 3. So the formula that we use to find uh, the angle between them is the cosine of theta, theta is the angle between them, well that's going to be the dot product of the two vectors divided by the magnitude of V multiplied by the magnitude of W. So let's see how this works. Let's go first and calculate, um, let's calculate the dot product. So we know to do the dot product we're going to multiply the two x components together. We're going to multiply the two y components together. And when we do that, we end up here with, uh, this is negative 1, this is 12, added together is 11. So let me box that in a minute so we don't lose that. Alright, so the dot product is 11. Now let's go calculate the magnitude of v. We've already done this before. I'll go through it rather quickly. So the magnitude of v, that's going to be negative 1 squared plus 4 squared. And so that's going to be, we get 1 plus 16. And so that's going to be the square root of 17. Let's box that in. Let's not lose that. Okay, and now let's do the magnitude of w. We can squeeze that in right here. The magnitude of w. That's the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 1 plus 9. So that's going to be the square root of 10. Let's go ahead and box that one in too. Alright, so now the dot product. We take all three of these things. So let me go ahead and I think we can put that right here. This will work. Alright, so the dot product that's in the numerator, and that was 11. And the magnitude of V, well that's the square root of 17. The magnitude of W <coughs> is the square root of 10. And when we multiply those together, um, now I'm going to have to do some erasing here. So, let me make a little bit of room over here. Because remember, this is going to be the cosine of theta. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now we have the cosine of theta. And when we multiply those together, um, you don't even need to multiply that together. You can just leave it just like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go theta is the inverse cosine or arc cosine. And now you can just type all this in at the same time. Don't forget to you know, close your parentheses when you use your square root symbol there. And when you do all of that at one time, you end up with 32.5 degrees. So the angle between these two component vectors is 32.5 degrees. Alright, I've got a second example for you, and it's kind of a special case. Um, the uh, the procedure is the same, so let's start with vector v, and let's just give it to you in ij form, so it's a little different. So 3i plus 6j, and then we have vector w, and then let's make that be 2i minus j, and so we want the angle between them, so we know the cosine of the angle between them, well that's the dot product of the two vectors divided by the magnitude of V and the magnitude of W. So remember, this is the X part and what we'll call it, X part and the Y part. This is the X part 
and the y part. So let's go ahead and calculate uh, first the dot product. So that's going to be 3 times 2. We're going to add that to 6 times, and we have a negative 1 there. And when we do that, we get 6. And this is going to be negative 6, and that's going to be 0. And before I go any further, hey, look at this. The dot product is 0. So you know what? It doesn't even matter what's underneath because 0 divided by anything is 0. So I've got the cosine of theta is 0, and this means that theta is the inverse or arc cosine of 0. Where is the cosine 0? The cosine is 0 at 90 degrees or pi over 2. So here's what's interesting about this example is if you have a dot product that is 0, you automatically know that these two angles are 90 degrees apart. And we have a special name for two, uh, I don't mean angles, I mean vectors. We have a special name for two vectors that are 90 degrees apart and is called orthogonal. orthogonal. And it means your two vectors are 90 degrees apart. So if your dot product is 0, you automatically know you have orthogonal vectors.